It is Colby underscore 22 here back for another episode of BMMG Drive. Let's get into it and let's get on the road and we'll start talking. So let me get this good old sunburst fired up. Since we drove the STI pretty hard last time, we're just going to leave it here. But then there's missing still a bumper. So or you guys know what I meant. This thing's still missing its bumper from when we off-roaded it. So let's get to the shop and we'll go from there but uh on the way to the shop i just want to say uh thank you guys for the support it means a lot you guys have no idea how much it means to me i'm gonna say that every episode guys because i am grateful for each and every one of you viewers out there as well as uh you know keeping up with the comments guys thank you uh i do like love hearing your guys' thoughts about everything so i'm pretty stoked to be seeing that down there below but anyways we're uh we're doing some interesting stuff today so let's stop talking about that and let's get to the good part of today's video we are picking up some parts for some cars i'm going to say it cars like that because we're not just getting one car parts we're going to the shipment yard and we're going to get a bunch of i wouldn't say a shipment yard but like kind of like this small shop and they're going to Pick me up with a bunch of parts, so. Uh, I believe I'm picking up today the all-wheel drive swap for this, which we'll get to in the next video, because we're going to be picking up, we have a bunch of parts for this, I just got to put them in and on. So this car will be a next video thing when I go over it more in depth. I want to focus on some other builds since this runs and drives. And we'll just take a shortcut through the gas station today. So we'll be leaving this at the shop today, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna leave this right here. Anyways, we're picking up wheels for the COVID. The glass guys are coming to install glass in that today. I'm picking up a set of stock brakes and steering so we can at least roll around. And possibly a drivetrain, not sure yet. Uh, the guys that work for me are gonna be pulling the motor out of that. And then we're going to take the truck, hook it up to the trailer, and go get some packages. So uh, let me get hooked up to the trailer, guys, and then I'll be right back, and we'll get on the road again. Okay, I just wanted to interrupt for this. Okay, you guys listening? Oh, the beautiful sounds of that Duramax. But anyways, let me get hooked up to the trailer, guys, and we'll get on the road. Okay, guys, we are back. <clears throat> And we're going to be getting on the road in this Duramax-powered truck. We're going to be filling up the whole truck in the bed with boxes of parts so uh, let's get on the road oh and by the way let me know what you guys think of what we're doing today down below and yeah I think I'm just gonna start a time-lapse right here and because we've made this drive a million times so let's cue the time-lapse Okay guys, we are back here. Uh, we did get loaded, so we're going to be heading back to the shop. This is a fairly heavy load, as you guys see. We had some mishaps with my engine mod. I don't know why it just blew up out of nowhere on the way there in the time lapse, but that was weird. And then uh, my driving almost ended this for us today. Like I was flying into that corner when I shouldn't have been. Oh, ran up over the curb. This is heavy, uh, we got the truck fully loaded on the inside, we got the trailer fully loaded, but uh, I believe this LBZ Duramax can pull it. I mean, it, it is struggling a little bit because we're only making stock power, but uh, it'll get up there eventually, zero to 60 time, you know. Oh, oh, this trailer does not like high speeds. Noted. So I guess we're going for fuel economy. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoy what I'm doing with the cars today, and I'm excited, so. We're coming around the mountain. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah, so. Oh, please, no. Trailer sway. We should have lowered it, or, uh, like, you know, put more of the load up 
on the like you know reposition that trailer a little differently I didn't think about it at the time I just wanted it loaded so anyway no for next time because this isn't going to be the you know the last time so and we're getting off here start getting on the brakes since we are hauling a trailer kind of scared of hauling a trailer in this game it's kind of heavy back there like I could definitely like if I was going first person it'll still lay still lay rubber though I just wanted you guys to listen to those beautiful sounds for a minute so like if I'm pressing the brake there you can feel it kind of and you can see me kind of correct but yeah we made it in one piece at least I will say that that is impressive I gotta figure out where I want to offload these I believe just to that bay door over there I mean it is my shop so I don't know let out on that clutch a little too fast Yeah, we're going to cut it up on the sidewalk, and then back. Oh, I think I cut it too close. We'll see, though. Who almost stalled it. You know, I will say with this game, the clutch is weird using it on controller. I do have a wheel. I just, I just honestly don't want to hook it up. So, okay, guys, we made it back to the shop. I'm going to let this truck idle, you know, cool down the turbo and cool down the engine you know because it is a turbo diesel so the turbo does like being cooled down so uh anyways i'm gonna get this off loaded and i'll be right back with you guys okay guys we are back so i just wanted to get a rundown we did put all the brakes back in so now we got a functioning e-brake as you guys see very excited about that it'll make rolling around easier we got a bunch of lightweight racing glass for it i have no clue what we're doing with the car though but shaving weight for anything we can do should be good and as you guys just seen there oh wow it's got steering and front brakes so we got brakes all the way around just basic ones for now we got them for free so who knows uh just put a regular you know good old steering rack no angle kit in it yet because i still like i said i haven't decided what i'm going to do with this thing but we're piecing it together so like in the next video i think we may work on this or may not or not like but you know like in the next bmmg drive video we will get probably more parts for this and just do it little by little because uh it is a bare shell and eventually we'll just go full build with it so uh on to the next as they say okay guys we are back and this is kind of what i did to the car i believe this is a covet covet yeah so i installed some wheels here 16 by 7 you know gives it that kind of stance uh coilovers next we need brakes now as you guys see but we also did a little exhaust install for now this is the temporary exhaust as one day i'm gonna go two liter swap it right now it's got a 1.5 carb but we may have some fun and try to blow this thing up but here's what it sounds like I like how it sounds it's gonna be an all right daily that's what the purpose of it is so okay guys we are back here let me pop the hood I believe they did get the motor out this morning so yeah like I said there's no motor so we got room for activities I'm leaning towards a coyote swap there's also a vortex swap and the good old you know regular LS swap so let me know down below what you guys want to see with this car like I said, I'm leaning towards a coyote. Just because, like, how they sound and reliability, even in BMMG. Okay, I'm kidding on that part, but seriously, this thing with the coyote would rip. So let's close that hood. And yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see, and this will be in a future video. It's going to be weird seeing it here not running, because as long as I remember, this thing ran. <laughs> so I guess on do the sunburst next okay guys we are back here and i did have a little surprise when i came back so the manual transmission's in so let's go take it for a little drive we might just have to take this home i still gotta do some fine adjustment on the coilovers before i do but uh 
Let's go take it for a rip. This thing looks sick. We got a new Sport RS front end with fenders, front bumper, and a lip. Sport RS doors and like it's got the whole Sport RS look, but still the same. Two liter drive or two five NA drivetrain, which we could change that very soon. So let's go take it for a rip now that it's a stick shift. Oh, and it's all wheel drive now that we did the stick shift conversion. I mean, could use bigger brakes, but, uh, oh, handles so much better. We're just going to take it to the top of the hill here, and we'll come back on down. Sorry if this is a long video. I'm just, you know, knocking out some of these projects one by one a little bit more. Let me turn off ESC. There we go. Maybe we can hit these corners a little harder now. The drivetrain's the main limitation. Yeah, because it's still slow, but it handles great now. And no more to laggy CVT, you know, holding it in gears. So this thing may actually be faster now that it's a stick shift. So for those of you wondering, it was a front wheel drive CBT, so it's basically a base model Impreza if you look at the real life version, but uh, now it looks like a STI kind of, like if we're referring to the real life cars, but which in game is a Sport RS. So now it looks like a Sport RS, it's got kind of its drivetrain, but uh, still needs some help, so. I'm not really at my best at driving right now. I'm just kind of taking these corners kind of quick, you know, just seeing the big difference. But it feels like it's a lot better than what it was, and I'm pumped about that. So let's get this back in the garage. I might just take this home tonight since it got done and leave the COVID here once again. Maybe the, they can get the turbo kit installed on it, but I think that's honestly everything, so... Let me just park this right here. I'll leave it running because I trust it not to drive away. And I will be back for the drive home with you guys. Okay, guys, we are back now. We did lower it, but I'm not liking the wheel fitment, so I might see what we can do about that in the next one. But we're out of parts, and we're out of time. I know today's video is already going to be going on for a long while, so I'll get out of here before I bother you guys too much longer. So let's rip this thing on home. I am so excited. Like, the drift... What I want to build into a drift car is coming together. The COVID's finally gotten some love. Clap box is finally, you know, torn apart, which I didn't want to do it this soon, but uh, it's going to be nice. Uh, then this car is finally, like, I remember when we first picked it up, and then the truck got some love. It drove uh, with that little glitch in the mod even wow this thing needs some bigger brakes which will come with the engine swap so if you guys are looking forward to any of that let me know let me know of anything i can improve on these bmd bmg drive videos just like let me know down below because i want to you know provide the best content for this that i can so if you guys want me to improve on anything like whether it's what i'm talking about or anything drop it down in the comments below guys but uh I'm excited for the series. I think we're on episode 7 or 8 now. It's gone a little bit and still getting a ton of love. So I want to say thank you for that, guys. But uh, next video, we're either going to be working on another car or we're going to have to load these up on, like, get them loaded and take a couple of these cars out to Utah and enjoy them. Uh, the daily, we're not going to modify it yet. I've said it once before and I'll say it again. It's just the daily. Which, I say that, and then I go buy another daily, so. But I can't buy any more cars. Like, we're going to have to sell a car, so. We better finish one of these, or it's going to get quite boring. And I know this car ain't going anywhere, because I, I love this thing. So, uh, with that being said, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Like I said, drop your comments below down on your opinions or anything. Or about anything, or on anything, or... You guys know what I mean. Drop your comments down below about anything, as I always say. And be sure while you're down there to hit the like button. Smash that subscribe button too if you are enjoying my content. Hit the little notification bell that will pop up when you click it. 
and yeah guys without with uh tongue twisters tonight tongue twisters but i'm gonna get out of here guys this is colby underscore 22 i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys in the next one it keep coming back.